some of the important uh, things in voice training for a music student would be uh, every morning it's imperative that we especially in Indian classical music Shajjam is very important so it's it's it would be very useful if um, we practice just sa for maybe half an hour to one hour. Just, just sa. Just sa. Practicing just sa. sa. Yeah. Okay. A sustain on sa is very that. It's like um, like a very great musician told me. It's like the paper sticking onto the clavicle. That's how the voice sticks onto the pitch or the suti or the tambura. That's what sa helps. Okay. So once that's done, every note falls in place. So. That's the first thing. Okay. And after that, uh, the next thing would be to, you know, uh, these are all things that, that is uh, more effective done in the morning. Okay. Uh, sustain on, on different notes. Okay. Uh, like one size and we can, <clears throat> like we, uh, our lower octave is uh, brighter and more in use in the morning, Early so we can morning. like we can like start from lower pa, pa, and then pa da ne sa re ga ma pa. So sustain on those notes will be helpful. Okay. That so over note la sustain pander the for how much our our breath can sustain. Over note la ninnu pander the is very useful, and like we can take a different scale each day so that all the notes are covered. Aparama, we come to voice exercises where, again, um, I've heard that straight scale practice pandra is very useful. So, the one the Sarega Mapa, the Nizani, the Bamanga, the Nizani, the Bamanga, the Nizani, just that. Other, it's, it's practicing that is very useful. Okay. No, I mean, as Swaram and also, ah, 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 there are like many ways of doing it, and the more we sing, the more ways we discover to do it. Okay. Like, one is the way which I sang now, which is just going up and down. Ah, 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 ah. The other way would be to hit the notes hit each particular note on its head. Okay. Which would be ah that way. Okay. That's another way of singing it. So it's it's more um, a process of discovery where as you keep singing you keep finding new things. Right. And uh, like other <clears throat> exercises would be which would help us as as performing artists would be very in the other side of the same as well. All that. <clears throat> Those are the first things we do, and then we can complicate it as much as we want. That's up to the individual. So, every uh, soldier, there are exercises. Which have very complicated patterns like now Swarama Bhavit Rivester. Sarega Samaga Rebu Maga Sarega Maga Rega Ma Rebu Maga Gada Bama Rega Ma Bama Gada Ma Bama Gada Bama Mani Da Bama Ma Bama Bama. It's it's you can complicate as much as you want. So are these phrases that you have come up with, or you have? Is it like a standard phrase? No, it's not a standard phrase. Idu vande, I mean, one of my relatives, he he learns music, so he he is he really spends. Time on it, so he gave me those. But I, it's it's not tough to come up with such things. That's what okay. I'm saying. Any any. So there is uh, students can actually go beyond uh, the standard phrases. Exactly. That they're taught we we and generally put a learn. Bit thought into it and come up with. Yeah. Some old. We generally learn early verses, gentle verses, dark verses, all alankara is what he learned, but, but you can go beyond that. Case. So <laughs> we can go beyond early verses, gentle verses, alankara, and I think it's not tough to come up with our own patterns, and uh, the. Um, the, the facets which are involved in that is one is like as I said Sariga Rigama or Sarigama Rigamapa those things. Next would be Jandeya Padad. Mm. 
ஒன்ஸ்ட்ரேட்ஸ்பெஷலிங் because gamakam and it is something very tricky but once we go into it it can be a very fascinating thing because gamakam according to me is something not very restrictive so or gamakam vandu ipdi dhaan paadanu nu solla mudiyadhu once we know the notes that are involved in a gamaka mm-hmm. that gives us more freedom to oscillate it the way we want to right but adu vandu the why i say it's tricky is it's easy to get it wrong right that's why it's tricky and all our ragas or everything in our music is based on gamaka that's the beauty in our music and uh, singing la especially gamakam is very important to convey whatever you want to convey what you feel you want to adhu gamakam is the main tool so i think a proper understanding of gamaka is very important in our system should you approach it as a science initially that is you make some conscious effort uh, to be very aware of uh, how you are oscillating the notes and uh, is, i mean is there a very uh, scientific way to start approaching that because uh, because for some <coughs> we don't have a notation system in place for actually understanding gamaka it has to be taught by a guru and it has yeah, to be yeah i mean yeah it's 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 all in the hands of the guru i would say it can never be notated or written down so it's yeah it can never be notated be... That, that's why pona sarigama padani sa padrathiye usually when <laughs> uh once when i ask my student to sing sarigama padani da ni da ba maga re jane so he sang Ah, 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 ah
we can i mean nama nare part padipom ivlo part theriyum avlo part theriyum that's that's all fine but how are we singing it that's that's equally important mm-hmm. so if i sing uh, gajanan yutam ganeshwaram mm-hmm. so it's not enough if we just learn gajanan yutam ganeshwaram or magari gamapa mani idapa okay that's two important parts but there's another important part for how i sing it mm-hmm. so we also need to learn that okay because that's uh, sometimes for a student it's not easy to figure that out by himself or herself right. most things may be easy but there are things that are not easy to figure what out what do you mean exactly by you should learn how to sing what, what do you mean by that you mean um, that means the mecha- mechanics by which that yeah. sound is produced do you do yeah the, the mechanics of mechanics? singing singing is uh it's it's basically the passage of air in and out okay that's what singing is it's more to do about how you move your vocal cords and how breath which vo- breath control which voice you use you can there are basically like four types of voice as much as i know okay as i told you i'm not really authoritative about this okay <laughs> so usually can sing from the abdomen the chest right and from your chin and from the head okay so it's basically in accordance with the um uh octave that you sing so as you <clears throat> when you sing the really low octave you use your abdomen and as you go higher you move can you higher. demonstrate that i mean in terms of like how is there something the changes in the voice as you approach as you go up <coughs> the register as you go higher up in pitch ah. uh is there something consciously that uh, that needs to be that needs to be modified in your voice every individual notes to need needs to know uh, his or her range as a, as a very great musician said andam und ellarkum or fixed range kuduthuruva every individual has his or her own range mm-hmm. and we need to understand that and that range கொஞ்சம் இந்த பக்கம் அந்த பக்கம் தான் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் பண்ண முடியும் ரொம்ப யூ கான் ட்ரை டு யூ நோ டூ டூ மச் வித் தட் ரேஞ்ச் ஓகே பட் வாட் வுட் பி மோர் யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஆஃப் அவர் டைம் வுட் பி டு சி வாட் கேன் பி டன் வித் இன் தட் ரேஞ்ச் ஓகே தட் இஸ் மோர் யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஓகே அண்ட் ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் இண்டிவிஜுவல் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் என்ன ரேஞ்ச் இருக்கு குரலில் ஓகே தட்ஸ் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் அண்ட் செகண்ட் திங் இஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் லைக் இன் ஆர் சிஸ்டம் யூ டோன்ட் யூஸ் மச் ஆஃப் ஃபால்ஸ் வாய்ஸ் but but at the same time knowledge would falls voice is pretty useful okay because i mean we as a professional we need to equip ourselves as much as we can right so so can you give an uh, example in terms of the tone um, that you would actually use as you go up the scale starting from the okay the let's say <clears throat> falsetto that's that's another arena where is false voice uh, when you just demonstrated now did you use some modified form of the false voice no 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 i didn't no. use false voice right now but false voice when it comes in the in the, in the higher range where um <clears throat> where your normal voice doesn't give way for you to sing that's where false voice comes in and um, usually it is said that the transition from your normal voice to your false voice is the biggest challenge for a singer okay and that's 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 very hard to get it so it's it requires hours of practice to get that okay and even after hours of practice you can get it wrong okay so but i mean we we know of people who have done everything so nothing is impossible but it's important that we get to know and we are aware about all this at, because that's how we start learning and you also mentioned uh, that you that a student should be like what you just mentioned is that a student should be aware of uh, other methods and systems so that they just increase their general uh, knowledge on the subject yeah and there is a lot of knowledge available readily available you can if if you With go the to internet the internet yeah if you go to the internet and all you need to google is singing and you have a lot of websites and in, in whatever i mentioned to you Wikipedia has all that about head voice or how you hear head voice or how it is done everything is available and nowadays a lot of uh, um, 
TV shows, reality shows about you know singing competitions and all that. I think all that is very useful because um, we can learn a lot about singing from what the judges say. Right. Not only in Carnatic music, but in other yeah, skills yeah, of yeah. music as well. We should. You know, singing is fundamental. Then yes. comes the system. Right. So it's important to know the fundamentals. Mm. There's a, so there's one one particular point that you would stress the most. Uh, what would that be? The most important point I would say is for a singer who's really serious about his or her singing is you should never do something which would strain your voice. That's that's perhaps the most important thing because the vocal cords are the vocal cords are something very sensitive. Okay. So. It's it's not good to strain them much. So if you're having pain and you're struggling, you know something is wrong. Exactly. That's that's a very good indication. Okay. And and every individual can feel the strain in the voice. Right. If you're doing something wrong, it'll it'll show you.